ladies and gentlemen. Now today, the Cavalier Crystals for Apocalypse and Professor X have just landed in Marvel Contest of Champions. And we're going to be going straight in with a $500 Cavalier Crystal opening. And I know I haven't done this in a while, but if we can smash out 10 thousand likes on today's video if the enablers can rally and assemble once again to get those likes up to ten thousand then on sunday we're going to be back for another five hundred dollar mega crystal opening man and this weekend i'm just praying we can get both apocalypse and professor x both characters are just phenomenal additions to the game like they're both really good by themselves but they have crazy synergies i think apocalypse out of the two definitely with his horseman ability has much stronger synergies and he kind of makes all these mutant characters that aren't really like super exciting like storm for example just crazy like the storm synergy literally turns her from like uh, a very mid-tier dud to literally one of the highest damage output characters in the entire game like his synergies are nuts man they're just game changing for so many mutants and yeah i love playing both of them man they're really really fun characters but if you are going to buy cavalier crystals just keep in mind that the drop rates on these are still terrible man and we are literally gonna have to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars uh to probably get something good so anyway ladies and gentlemen let's get into today's cavalier crystal opening after a word from our sponsors you want to be a part of one of the largest communities in mobile gaming well you should come check out raid shadow legends i've been playing raid for just over a year now but what keeps me coming back to the game is their massive active community of players also if you haven't already heard raid is a free-to-play game that you can download for free on your mobile or your PC or laptop. So however you want to play, wherever you want to play, the choice is yours. There are millions of players worldwide jumping into Raid Shadow Legends every single month. Over 100,000 members on their official Discord, not to mention thousands of videos being uploaded every single week to YouTube, and almost 40,000 members on the official subreddit as well. It's one of the biggest and most helpful communities I've seen, so now is a really good time to get started. It. What's new for September 2020? Well, Raid have just released a huge new update, rebalancing over 20 different champions to make Arena and other aspects of the game even more fun and competitive. And on top of that as well, they've just added in the brand new Artifact Forge, and here you can save time and start crafting top quality artifacts and competing right away. So, if you're ready to dive headfirst into a world of epic adventure, if you go to the video description right now, there you're going to find a link to download Raid Shadow Legends, and if you install the game using that link, you can immediately start with this free epic champion, the Orc Shaman, and she's just crazy for beginners. She has the ability to buff up all of her allies, increasing their crit rate, but also she can also revive dead allies and shield them as well. She's so powerful for the campaign, especially early level progression, so yeah, she's like a must get for new players. This is definitely one of the best starter champions they have on offer, uh, so yeah, if you go to the video description, download the game using that link, and then once you've downloaded the game, in this town hall area, there's going to be a treasure trove icon in the top right hand corner. And if you click on it to open it up, there is going to be your free epic champion, the Orc Shaman, 50,000 silver, 50 free gems, one energy refill, a clan boss key, five mystery shards, and also an XP booster. Thanks once again to Raid Channel Legends, and if you do want to support the channel and download the game, links are in the description. So the plan today is we're going to spin out 20 of these crystals, and then we're going to rapid pop 30, so $300 in stacks of 5. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it, man. I really, really hope that we've got a little bit of CEO luck today, because uh, the Dragon Man and Professor X crystals, we spent about $400 on those, and those are terrible, man. We just didn't get like anything even half decent, at least to the best of my memory uh no five star professor x no five star dragon man like the biggest win by far today would be the six star version of apocalypse because apocalypse as well as a character he doesn't need to be awakened like his awakened ability just causes him to regen um if you're playing and winning fights with other characters uh but again to be a really good character he doesn't need it man so even unawakened he's really really good uh but three star iron fist not the uh not quite the star we're looking for 
Uh, Professor X, again, is still a pretty good character unawakened, uh, but he needs that awakened ability a little bit more because he gains up to 50% additional prowess potency, uh, and prowess affects the damage of his special attacks uh, based on his signature level. So yeah, out of the two, man, Apocalypse is the, the better one unawakened, I'd say, and probably the better one overall. But this has been a, uh, a tragic start, man. Three-star version of Miss Marvel there. Let's have a bit of a look at crystal number three, though. Come on, man. I don't think... Actually, we do have... Do we have a copy of Apocalypse? <laughs> I'm just trying to think from the early access ones. Uh, I, I, I can't even remember, man. I don't know if we have a three or four-star one. I think we might have got a four-star one. Um, but from some of the early access bundles, so I'm not too sure if we're looking for a notification to pop up before we see him. But let's have a look, mate. Crystal number four is going to be... Oh, dude, I thought that was going to be a six-star Kamala Khan there. That would have been the dream, boys. But unfortunately, it's a three-star version of Sunspot. So yeah, it really has been a, uh, a very underwhelming start. But let's have a look. We got Crystal at number five now. <gasps> it's going to be a new character. Okay. And it's going to be a four star version of Apocalypse. So, yeah, we didn't have the four star. Uh, but now we got an Apocalypse of the roster. So, at least we can use the synergies in monthly content. So, that's a uh, small, you know, little silver lining. But uh, for a $500 Cavalier Crystal opening, we are looking for ideally that five or six star, man. But let's have a look. That's going to be a three star copy of Moon Knight there. So, yeah, not not too great, man. I don't think we've seen any five or uh, six-star champions yet. But hopefully we could get... I, ideally, like, one or two six-stars today would be a uh, a very, very nice time as well. It's going to be a four-star version of Silver Surfer. Damn, man. It's been a, a bit of a rubbish start. But all the best crystal openings have the worst starts. And we still have 43 crystals to go today. So let's have a look at crystal number seven. Or is that crystal number eight? I think it's crystal number eight. That's going to be a five-star version of Winter Soldier. Uh, so not too bad. Certainly on the up and up. Get a few six-star shards there. But now we got crystal number nine. Come on, man. Five-star. Okay, three-star apocalypse. Dude, I will take it for the Maestro Showcase. Like, I always like the three-star maxed-out versions of characters to do a little bit of testing. So, yeah, that's not bad. We got the three-star. We got the four-star, mate. We're looking for uh, just a couple more stars on these characters. It's going to be a three-star version of Silver Surfer. So overall, man, uh, really wasn't the best start. At least we got a couple of copies of Apocalypse and also a five-star version of uh, Winter Soldier as well. So yeah, it was okay, man, but I'm hoping that that is the worst of the stacks of 10 today. So let's go for the second one. Again, we're going to spin all of these out, and then we are going to wrap it open the, um, uh, the remaining 30. So let's go for it, mate. Crystal number 11 now. Dude, I see that six-star apocalypse in the real, man. And, oh, is that going to be... Oh, dude, I thought we were going to awaken six-star Call Obsidian. That'd be phenomenal there. We only recently got him off a uh, six-star basic crystal. So, yeah, that'd be really, really good. It looks like we got mystery crystal here. So let's see what we get out of this one. The spinner appears to be bugged. But coming out of the mystery crystal is going to be a, a three-star version of Elsa Bloodstone. <laughs> uh, not quite my first pick, man, but let's, uh, let's see what's coming out of the next one, man. Crystal number 13. I'm so nervous today, man, just because there hasn't been a... Oh, five... St okay, four-star squirrel girl there. It's just because there hasn't been a Cavalier lineup with two characters this just crazy in quite some time. So this is uh, a really, really big one, man. They're going to make a ridiculous amount on Cavaliers this weekend. Right, let's have a bit of a look there. Three-star Apocalypse. Mm. Yeah, at least uh, at least it's the character, man. <laughs> but hopefully we can see that five- or six-star version popping up. Right, we've got Crystal number 15 now. And it's going to be a four-star version of Hogbuster. You know, pretty good after his buff. But the four-star ain't doing too much for our account or roster. So let's move on to uh, crystal number 16. Come on, man. I don't think I've seen, like, Professor X tease too much in the reel today. But again, a five or six star version of Professor X would be so good. He is so much fun to play. Uh, four star Invisible Woman there, though. Yeah, the five star ratio has been, uh, it's been really dry today, man. It's been very, very underwhelming. 
I'm kind of looking forward to the rapid pops, man. The real is, uh, it's just bumming me out so far. But come on, mate. We got crystal number, uh, I think this is 17 now? It's gonna be a four, oh, three star version of Captain America there. <laughs> Not even the four star version. Okay, three more to spin, and then we're just going for the pops, boys. Come on. Okay, and come around that corner. We got a three star. Oh, four star Miss Marvel. So a little bit better than initially expected there. But still nothing uh, super crazy, man. Okay, and the reel's bugged out again. So we got another mystery crystal right here. Mystery crystals have always been a disappointment so far. Is this one going to change it? Uh, is that a five star Mordo? Okay, not, not bad. I'll, t I'll take a five star Mordo, man. Some nice uh, additional six star shards there. Well, let's have a look. We got crystal number 20 now. Come on, mate. It looks like I think we've got a slight connection issue here. Hopefully, it's going to resolve itself in a second. Okay, the reel is slowing down. And it's going to be a. Oh, dude, six star version of Iron Man Infinity War. That's 20 more uh, SIGs on that lad. And we've already got him at uh, six star rank two. So not too bad. That's actually quite a nice bump to his power gain there. Uh, so yeah, overall, that one kind of like saved that stack a fair bit, man. I'll happily take. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, 20 more levels on the six star Iron Man. That's pretty decent. However, it's time for the rapid pops, boys. Let's go for it, man. We're going to go seating method here and just go straight in. Just open all five, and the first stack of five, we are going to be getting a five-star magic, and yeah, a four-star Thor Ragnarok, and a few three-star champions. So magic goes up to 160 there, not too bad. But again, we are, we are looking for Professor X, man. We are looking for Apocalypse today. So fingers crossed, or any crazy good six-star champion as well is very, very welcome. Right, let's just go, go straight in again. And this is, uh... Oh, okay, that's not too bad. We're getting a five-star Symbiote Supreme and also five-star Clairvoyant. So that's, uh, yeah, decent. Double five-star, like, out of the whole stack of ten, man. Three five-stars. It's not too bad. But again, still no Professor X or Apocalypse, but, um... Hey, at least there was a little bit of five-star magic in there. We'll certainly take that. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, we got like, uh, what was it, out of 10 crystals, man? Like three of the <laughs> the best Mystic Champions? So yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, we're going to pet meth for this one, man. And let's go. So this is uh, brings us up to 35 after this. Oh, dude, that was a bit dead, man. We got Iron Patriot, Magic, and Venom as four-star champions. Right, we just got to go seating method, mate. Straight in. Oh, gosh, this has been tense so far. Right, we got three more stacks of five to go. And then maybe one stop at Desperation Station. But we still got 15 more crystals, man. Come on. Let's have a look. Okay, the next five... I'm so tense right now. Oh, okay, it's just going to be a five-star version of Nebula there. Yeah, that stack of 10 overall was dead, man. So we're 40 crystals deep. $400 deep today, man. We only got 10 more to go. I'm not feeling too optimistic. But Desperation Station, man. Needs to clutch it back today for us. Okay. Let's go. This brings us up to 45. Dude, that's so dead. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that is disappointing. Okay, final final stack of five. Then one stop at Desperation Station, potentially. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared to press that button. Let's do it, though. Let's do it. Okay, the final stack of five. We are going to be getting connection issues. Oh... Dude, that's so dead, man. Four-star Professor X and Apocalypse. $500 deep, boys. No five-star copy of Eva Champion. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Right, let's uh, let's go for Desperation Station, boys. We're going to pet method it for good measure. And again, the rule is a Desperation Station. If we get five or six-star champion, we spin again. But if we don't... We put the game down and we walk away. 
Let's see, man. Desperation station. Ugh. I think we're done today, boys. That was... Uh... Savage, man. Savage. But if you want to see round two, the CEO comeback, hopefully, <laughs> on Sunday, man, we will drop another $500 on these goddamn clown crystals if we can smash out 10,000 likes on today's video. I know it's a big ass, man, but it's a crazy amount to be spending on a mobile video game, especially when we're getting shafted this much. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not proper chuffed about that, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. We have had plenty of great crystal openings on this channel. So, you know, I do deserve to uh, get shafted now and again. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.